in this video we are going to take a look at how we can create a custom sign up form for our wordpress website so we will be taking this default wordpress sign up form and we will make it look something like this here we can collect the first name last name email address and we can also add a terms and condition check mark and then we have a register button Along with that, we can also add social logins in our WordPress signup form. So if you want to create some amazing looking WordPress signup form, then let's dive in. Now, this is our second video in our series of custom forms for WordPress. And in the first video, we have already covered how we can create a custom sign-in form for our WordPress users. So I would highly recommend that you go ahead and check out that video as well. It's added in our playlist. We will link that in the i button above or in the video description below. For now, let's dive in in our WordPress backend and start creating our custom registration form. Now, before we start building our registration form, we first need to make sure that our WordPress site is open for visitors to register their account. And for that, we need to go to settings and under general tab, we have an option for membership and we need to make sure that anyone can register option should be turned on. And now we can move on to the plugin section. And here we just need to make sure that we have the plus add-ons for block editor free as well as the pro version with their latest updated versions. After that, we need to go to plus settings and then click on plus blocks and here we will search for login and this is the login registration block that we are going to use and it's part of the pro plan of this plugin so make sure you have the pro version installed and updated to the latest version and once you turn on this block just click on save and now we can go to pages to create our custom registration form <music> So here we have already created a page. So let's go ahead and edit that. So here you can see we already have our custom sign up form created here. But let me show you everything from the beginning. So we'll get rid of everything from here. So let's start by adding our container first. So this is the TP container block. Let's click on this. And we will make the height as fit to screen. And in the flex property, we will make everything aligned in center. All right, now let's start by adding our login form. So we will search for our login block. And here is our login and sign up block. So let's click on this. And this is the default look of our form. But right now it says sign in, but we are creating a registration or sign up form. So in order to change this, we have an option in layout section. We have different type of forms that we can choose from. So right now it is set on login. We can select register, which looks something like this. And we can also create login register in a multiple tab structure. Or we can also create a lost password form. And we have covered all of these forms separately in different videos. And you can watch all of them in our playlist that we have already added in the i button above and the video description below. So right now, let's select the form type as register. And this is how the basic form looks like, which we are now going to style and make it look something like this. And for styling like any other blog in the plus library we have the style tab and here we can see all the style settings for every element in this form and we have already covered that in our first video when we created our sign in form so once again we highly recommend that you watch the complete playlist from the video number one where we have created our sign in form so let me just quickly go ahead and do the styling of this form and then we'll talk about what are the options and settings available all right, so after doing all the styling, our form looks something like this. And now if you go to our layout section and here we can choose our layout style. So we have the inline form, which looks something like this. And we also have a button form. So in order to open our form, we need to either click or mouse over on this button. But right now we will go with the inline form. And here we can see the register tab. If we open this, here we can see all the fields in our registration form, like first name, last name, email, register button. 
and in order to add a new field we just need to click on add field from here and if we click on this new field here we can choose the type of field so right now it is set on first name but we can choose any field as we like for example we have mail subscription option so with this check mark as soon as the visitor register with this form they will be subscribed to our mailchimp newsletter list and how that happens we are going to cover that in a separate video along with that we can also add google recaptcha and we can also add social login like this one so here you can turn on facebook and google login but for a better understanding we are going to cover all of these options in a separate video and all will be added in our playlist right now we can go ahead and add terms and condition checkbox and here we can enter our custom text something like this and then we can move this field above our register button along with that there is one more important field that we should add in our registration form so let's click on add field and that field is honeypot so this honeypot field is a must have if you are creating a custom form so once again we will keep this above our registration button and after this we can add another field that is acf that is advanced custom fields so if we select this right now we cannot see anything because we need to enter key for our advanced custom field now we have already installed the advanced custom field plugin and this one is from wp engine and works really well and once we install this plugin here we have an option for custom fields and here we have just created a custom field in the name of twitter handle so we can copy this name here which is actually our key so right now we are trying to capture twitter handles of our visitor while they are using this sign up form so once we have copied the key we can go back to our pages and edit our page again and here in this form we will enter the key here and for the width we will choose 100 percent and let's go ahead and update this form here and we will open this in a private window and now we can see our twitter handle field added here but we need to move that above our terms and condition field so we come back here and let's close this and here we will move the acf field above our terms and conditions text <music> Now once the visitor fill up all the details all they have to do is just click on the register button and now we need to decide what should happen after the registration form is filled for that we have an option that is add action and here we have three actions either we can redirect our new user to any page on our website for example here in this website we have a service page where we have our pricing plan so once the registration is done we can redirect visitor to this specific pricing table page so if we select that here we get an option to enter the url so we can enter the url here and after redirect we also have auto login which means that as soon as the registration form is filled the user will be logged in into the my account section so we can select that as well or we can also select send mail so whenever the user gets registered they are going to get a custom email and we can customize that email right here so here we have the email subject so we can change that and we also have the email message which again we can customize from here and to learn more about these custom variables you can go ahead and check out the doc file that we will add in the video description below and after that we have the registration form message so here we have the loading success email validation and error text so we can customize all that from here and at the end we have the heading of this form so here it says create an account which again we can edit from here or we can change the alignment as well and once again to style every element of this form we can always use the style tab and here we have option to customize every field of this form now in order to make sure that our registration emails are getting in the inbox of our visitor we should always use smtp servers and how we can add that with this form we are going to cover that in a separate video so make sure you subscribe to this channel so that you will get notified whenever that video is live so now let's go ahead and update this registration form so 
So now let's open up our form in a private window and let's fill it up and see how it goes. So here we have filled up all the details. We have done the email validation and we have also added our custom field that is Twitter handle. And now let's go ahead and click on register. And as we have selected in the settings, the user will get redirected on the service page once they do the sign up process. And this is the email that we got once we have successfully done the registration process. And once again, we can customize that in the settings option. So this is how we can create a custom user sign up form for our WordPress website. And if you want to learn how you can create various other custom forms in WordPress, make sure you check out our complete playlist that you will link in the i button above or in the video description below. So that's it for this video and I'll see you in the next video of our playlist.